So now we turn to the award part of our program and we have a new addition to our Founders Day program this year as we share the presentation of the Dexter Edgar Converse Award with our Converse community. The Dexter Edgar Converse Award is the highest honor bestowed by the college and it is given annually to an individual who brings honor and strength to Converse through their leadership, generosity, and involvement, both in the Converse community and in their own larger and varied communities. Our recipients serve as role models for students, inspiring them to a higher purpose and service to others. This year we honor Marion Rivers Cato, class of 1965, whose quiet strength as a leader and passion for developing and supporting people to become their best selves has impacted this community far and wide. Having been raised in Charleston, South Carolina as the daughter of a United States legislator, Marion earned her degree from Converse and ventured across the country to live in San Francisco. Her eagerness to take on adventure and live amongst people who hold diverse perspectives was evident early on and has shaped much of what we love about her today. Her interest in building relationships, her willingness to embrace new challenges, and her balance of respect for the past with a vision for the future. Marion learned from her parents that success in life is all about people. And together with her husband, Wayland, Marion has invested in our people in numerous ways. Perhaps most notably in the form of two student scholarship endowments and the Cato Award for Faculty Excellence. This year alone, 10 students are receiving scholarship support through these endowments. And through a commitment from the Cato Corporation, Converse recognizes and rewards one faculty member each year for inspiring and encouraging student academic achievement and for empowering students to effect positive change in the world. The $5,000 cash award is presented during commencement and it is instrumental in helping Converse attract and retain top faculty members. Marion joined the Converse Board of Trustees in 2006 and continued to serve through 2014, investing herself in the work of the Academic Affairs Committee. In 2012, Marion and Wayland graciously hosted a study travel experience for Converse students and faculty to study the history of the American West at their ranch in Wyoming. Participant Amberlyn Smith recalls waking at 4 a.m. to assist the ranch hands in rounding up hundreds of cattle. Now I can speak to the value of that experience on our ranch and I know those students really appreciated it. So beyond experiencing all aspects of ranch life, the group also toured historic sites and returned each night to the Cato Ranch to debrief and fall exhausted into bed. But what an incredible and unforgettable gift the Catos provided these students through their hospitality. Marion's involvement at Converse has also included service on our Board of Visitors, hosting Converse alumni events in her home, being a friend of the Petrie School of Music, supporting the hard work of fundraising as a member of the Campaign for Converse Committee, and co-chairing her 50th reunion. The Catos also provide funding for our Dexter Hall Terrace, and they have established a planned gift to support Converse as members of the Miss G Society. In every aspect of her life, Marion sets an extraordinary example for investing in communities and organizations that make our world a better place. Together, the Cato support numerous arts and civic organizations across the country and have established scholarship endowments at well over 20 colleges. Marion is a talented author who published a book chronicling Mary Ravenel's experience as a medical missionary in revolutionary China during the 1920s and also a biography of her father, L. Mendel Rivers. She is an inspiration to us all in the way she lives the Dexter Edver, Edgar, Edgar Converse's call to see clearly, decide wisely, and act justly. Marion, the return of your investments of time, talent, and treasure here at Converse College has been and will continue to be plentiful beyond measure. And it is now my great pleasure to recognize you with our highest honor. Please join me to receive this well-deserved award.